to Little Neck Parkway. They're clearing an accident there just before you cross into Nassau County. And the westbound cross Bronx is slow, generally from 3rd Avenue right up to the George Washington Bridge. New Jersey, we have some delays now on the northbound Garden State Parkway around South Orange. Exit 144, we have an accident there. And northbound on the western spur of the Turnpike, that's slow from 16W right up to the Vince Lombardi service area. Northern suburbs, uh, things are moving a little slowly on the southbound New York State Thruway, going from the Woodbury Tolls right down to Suffern in Rockland County. In both directions, Connecticut Turnpike, very slow. New York State Line right up to Stamford. And on Long Island, they're still working on that accident, northbound Meadowbrook Parkway by Old Country Road. A couple of lanes are blocked there. If you see a traffic tie-up, be a WCBS cellmate. Call 212-975-8888. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And let's get a check of our five-day forecast now from the Weather Center and meteorologist John Dugowinski. It'll be partly to mostly cloudy out there again tonight. We'll see a low of 42 in Midtown, but 30 to 35 across the Hudson Valley and some outlying areas. During the day tomorrow, we'll see times of clouds and sunshine and high up to 52. Clear to partly cloudy tomorrow night, low again, 42. And for Thanksgiving Day... We'll see a pretty nice day out there. It'll be sunny to partly cloudy. Highs around 55 degrees. Another mild day on Friday with a mix of sun and clouds. High 58. For Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. It'll be a chillier day, though. A shower possible. High only 48. And then blustery and chilly for Sunday. Despite partly sunny skies, we'll see a high around 43. I'm meteorologist John Dukowensky in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now in Midtown, we've got cloudy skies. It's 45 degrees. WCBS News Time, 850. How far would you go to help save someone's life? How about to your garage? If you have an unneeded vehicle, donate it to the Salvation Army. They'll pick it up for free, and the proceeds from its sale will help someone in the grip of addiction reclaim his life. To donate your vehicle, call 1-800-SA-TRUCK or visit satruck.org. You will be doing the most good. Tis the season for giving, which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Locals Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. WCBS News Time 851. Well, by the truckload, help for victims of Sandy has now arrived from the people of New Orleans. WCBS reporter Sophia Hall has a story from Long Island. It was sent with love from New Orleans. Two semi trucks filled with everything possible, including Kool Aid and diapers, arrived here to Amityville High School on Long Island. Trey Ledbetter lives outside of New Orleans. He told me he could relate after Hurricane Katrina. It was amazing to see how many people responded to our cry for help down there to send up. Here. And Joseph Araby said it went from a little idea to a big idea, and it seemed like everyone wanted to help. Two trucks, two 53-foot van trailers, and it's a lot of, I don't know if you walked inside, but I mean, it's a lot of goods. I have kids' toys, water, blankets, anything people in the South wanted to donate that we, that we thought y'all could use, jackets, you know, stuff like that, we brought it up here. Those in need could come here to the high school for the supplies. Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. Well, the boss and Bon Jovi are teaming up with the governor's wife to help victims of Hurricane Sandy. Bruce Springsteen and John Bon Jovi will serve on the advisory board of the Hurricane Sandy New Jersey Relief Fund. That's a nonprofit that was created by Governor Chris Christie's wife, Mary Pat. WCBS News Time, 853. Not a nasal spray, a nasal wash. I'm Pat Farnack with the WCBS Health and Wellbeing Report, sponsored by the Valley Hospital in Ridgewood, New Jersey. During the winter, many people almost become addicted to nasal sprays. But pharmacist and author Sherry Torkis says instead use a nasal wash. Some of the -the over-the-counter sprays are medicated, but if they're used longer than three days, they can actually cause rebound congestion and also damage your nasal membranes and your sinus passages. For instance, check out Alkalol. It contains essential oils, camphor, menthol, spearmint, wintergreen. You use it like you would a neti pot, so you flush your sinuses out, but the essential oils help to clear the mucus, hydrate the, the nasal membranes. And Alkalol is... 
A L K A L O L. The entire interview at cbsnewyork.com slash health and well being. I'm Pat Farnack, WCBS 880. Have you heard? Proactive is better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. Do you have troubled skin, acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive, your acne can heal and you can prevent new breakouts from happening. Don't miss this limited time offer. Give us a call at 1-800-533-3091 because we're going to let a million people try Proactive risk-free, get two free gifts, and also receive free shipping when you call right now. You heard it. This offer won't last long. So call Proactive now and you'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial of Proactive, two free extras, and free shipping. Call 1-800-533-3091. This is our best radio offer ever. Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive plus free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Don't wait. Visit GetProactive.com or call 1-800-533-3091. That's 1-800-533-3091. Hi, this is Craig Allen. I was raised on Long Island's South Shore, and it's still where my family calls home. Sandy, devastated parts of Long Island, the likes of which I've never seen. Help us help New York recover. Text the Red Cross to 90999 to donate $10 right now. A message from WCBS 880 and CBS Cares. WCBS News Time 855. Time for Business News Now, sponsored by Thomasville of New Jersey. And here's Bruce Vail at the Wall Street Journal. Hi, Linda. New home construction rose to its highest rate in more than four years in October, suggesting the housing market was gaining steam. The Commerce Department said housing starts were up 3.6 percent, surprising economists who were expecting groundbreakings to slow. But the number of construction permits issued was down, indicating a drop in construction in the future. Media giant News Corp is interested in buying the Simon & Schuster book business from CBS. News Corp already owns HarperCollins Publishing. The two companies are engaged in preliminary discussions and caution that a deal isn't imminent. The talks come in the wake of a failed attempt by News Corp to purchase Pearson's Penguin Group just a few weeks ago. Wall Street today mixed results with the Dow Jones Industrial Average down 7 points at 12,788. The Nasdaq Composite and the S&P 500 each gained just a fraction. I'm Bruce Vail at the Wall Street Journal for WCBS News Radio 880. Business news at 25 and 55 past every hour on WCBS 880. Traffic and weather together is next and our top stories with Vicki Allen are coming up. WCBS News Time, 857. <laughs> Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. Do you have student loans and are worried about making your payments? Stop worrying. Now Direct Student Aid can help if you are behind, if you are late, or even if you are in default on your student loans, we can help cut your payments fast. We provide student loan relief, getting you relief from your student loans right away. We will stop any harassing phone calls, stop any wage garnishments, and even remove any tax liens. No matter how much you owe or how far behind you are with payments, call our established direct student aid toll-free assistance line right now. We can fix your student loan problems guaranteed. That's right. We guarantee we will get your student loan out of default and cut your payments right away. We have helped thousands of people just like you fix their student loans. Best of all, it's 100% guaranteed. Don't go another day with your loans behind or in default. Our specialists are waiting for your call. Call 800-395-5576. That's 800-395-5576. Again, call 800-395-5576. That's 800-395-5576. WCBS News Time 858. Traffic and weather together on the 8th. Here's Steve Reggie. 
Lots of slow traffic, Linda, on the eastbound Long Island Expressway. Starts to get heavy around the BQE, right on out to Little Neck Parkway. There's an accident there. And northbound on the Van Wag slow from Bell Parkway to Kew Gardens. Hudson River crossings out of the city, Lincoln and Holland, 20 minutes, but inbound minor. Inbound George Washington Bridge, upper deck about 20 minutes. Downstairs, you're okay. And an accident continues to be worked on northbound Meadowbrook Parkway at Old Country Road. Two lanes are blocked there in Nassau County. Here's a check of WCBS Pinpoint Weather. Mostly cloudy tonight, low 42 midtown, 30 to 35 in the Hudson Valley and some outlying areas. Mix of sun and clouds for tomorrow, high 52. Patchy clouds tomorrow night, low 42. And then a nice day on Thanksgiving Day with lots of sunshine, high 55. I'm meteorologist John Dugowensky in the WCBS Weather Center. And right now in Midtown, we've got cloudy skies, 46 degrees out at Kennedy Airport. It's 44 and cloudy at Teterboro, also 44. Have a good evening. I'm Linda Lopez. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS, New York. Good evening. It's Tuesday, November 20th. I'm Vicki Allen. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. Police are questioning a man they suspect may offer clues in the shooting deaths of three Brooklyn shopkeepers. Bail denied for the NYPD officer accused of plotting to kidnap and cannibalize women. Manhattan federal prosecutors say insider trading led to more than a quarter billion in illegal profits for a Connecticut hedge fund. Fifteen people busted in a major heroin ring based in Patterson, New Jersey. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton meets with Israel's prime minister trying to broker a Mideast peace deal. And sports sticks leave the Hornets. 41-38 second quarter. Nets and Lakers tip off at 10-30. WCBS News Time, 9 o'clock. CBS News, I'm Bill Whitney. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton arrived in Jerusalem late today, bringing U.S. pressure to bear on ceasefire negotiations. The rocket attacks from terrorist organizations inside Gaza on Israelis' cities and towns must end and a broader calm restored. Those rocket attacks continued today, and the Israeli death toll since this crisis began rose to five. More than 130 Palestinians have been killed in Israel's bombardment of Gaza. CBS News correspondent Charlie Daggett is there and reports a huge explosion dangerously close to his location. We're all okay. The bomb landed uh, not far from here, obviously. We're next to a mosque that is under construction. We thought it would be safe because of that. Uh, and it landed out in the street next to us, and it was powerful enough and close enough to blow out all the windows in my room. There were reports today that a ceasefire deal was imminent, but a hitch developed. There's hope it might be finalized when Secretary Clinton goes to Cairo tomorrow. Dallas-based Hostess Brands has thrown in the towel, the latest from Matt Thomas of station KRLD. A bankruptcy judge ordered the maker of Twinkies and Wonder Bread to sit down and talk with one of its unions after Hostess claimed in court that a strike had crippled it to the point liquidation was the only way out. The company now confirms that the mediation was unsuccessful and they will apparently go ahead in bankruptcy court with a proposal to liquidate. Unless some of the country company's operations can be sold, more than 18,000 jobs will be lost. U.S. Airways flight attendants have voted to authorize a strike, but at this point, company spokeswoman Liz Landau says it's largely symbolic. There will be no operational or flight disruptions during the holiday travel season. The union has told our flight attendants that the strike vote is about positioning at the bargaining table and not about striking. The union can't legally strike because it's in federal mediation with U.S. Airways, which is considering a merger with American Airlines. The flight attendants are concerned about their future if that happens. A major doctor's group says birth control pills should be available without a prescription. The story from CBS News correspondent Barry Bagnato in Washington. At Unity Healthcare Clinics for low-income patients here, Dr. Mark Hathaway constantly sees women who wish they could have avoided becoming pregnant. There's just many, many barriers that we put up to make it really tricky to get good contraceptive care. Now the national group that represents doctors such as him is calling on the FDA to approve over-the-counter sales of oral contraceptives in the U.S. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists Ecologists argues open access would not be unsafe and would help drive down one of the highest rates of unintended pregnancies in the world. Barry Bagnato, CBS News, Washington. Last year, Hewlett Packard agreed to pay $9.7 billion for Autonomy Corporation of Britain. Now, HP is writing off $8.8 billion, claiming it was duped about Autonomy's finances. Autonomy's former CEO denies it. The Dow lost seven points today. This is CBS News.
Joe Franklin here. Now, for a long time, I've been sending my listeners to my good friends at Empire Diamond and Gold Buying Service, who, for more than 75 years, have been international market leaders in buying gold and diamond jewelry from the public. So, if you're short on cash in these troubled times, or possibly you want to uh, pay off some old bills that are piling up, you can. Empire Diamond and Gold Buying Service, located in the Empire State Building, will buy your unused and unwanted diamond and gold jewelry at the highest cash prices so that you can have ready cash for your present needs and obligations. Empire will evaluate your diamond and gold jewelry at no cost. And if you decide to sell, you will receive the highest cash prices paid in years. There is no sales pressure. The decision to sell is strictly yours. Their customers tell me that they are most reputable and no one can beat the prices they'll pay for your gold jewelry. That's right. The time to sell your unwanted jewelry is now while gold prices are still high. You cannot afford not to visit my friends at Empire Diamond Gold Buying Service, Empire State Building, 5th Avenue at 34th Street. Live from the CBS Hudson Square Broadcast Center in Manhattan, we are News Radio, WCBS HD and WCBS FM HD3, New York. 46 degrees, it's cloudy. We're going down to 42 in Manhattan, 30 to 35 in the suburbs. WCBS News Time 904. He's been dubbed John Doe Duffelbag, and tonight he's being questioned by police. NYPD Deputy Commissioner Paul Browns is the man captured on video surveillance near Friday's murder scene of a Brooklyn shopkeeper may have some answers regarding that case and two other shooting deaths of Brooklyn store owners since July. The balding, middle-aged man is not in police custody and has not been arrested. In the meantime, WCBS reporter Marlo Diamond takes a look at the broader investigation. The NYPD is working with an FBI behavior analyst as it tries to determine a motive in the three shopkeeper slayings. All three men were of Middle Eastern descent, says Police Commissioner Ray Kelly. Everything is on the table. Uh, the question was asked, uh, can it be deemed to be a hate crime? Obviously not. We don't have enough information. But we're not we're not excluding it. Police believe the killer eyed his targets and knew that the shopkeepers would be working alone at police headquarters. Marla Diamond, WCBS 880 News. An NYPD officer jailed in a bizarre cannibalism plot makes another request for bail. WCBS reporter Irene Cornell was at the hearing. Prosecutor Hadassah Waxman saved her Thanksgiving trump card for last in the bail argument, and she completely demolished the defense claim that the thoughts in a man's mind, however disturbed, are not a crime. What the prosecutor revealed was that back in February, Officer Gilberto Valle emailed his Thanksgiving plans telling a co-conspirator I'm planning to get some girl meat this November for Thanksgiving. It's a long way off, but I've got plans in motion. The email noted that he had a victim picked out and planned to abduct her from her home. Judge Paul Gardeff slammed the cell door on any hope that police officer Valle had of being out on bail and home for Thanksgiving. From Manhattan Federal Court, Irene Cornell, WCBS 880 News. Insider trading charges against former hedge fund portfolio manager Matthew Martoma are said to point to a cheating scheme of historic proportion. Spelling out the case in Lower Manhattan, U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara says Martoma is accused of using confidential information about an Alzheimer's disease drug trial to rake in millions. This is certainly the most lucrative insider trading scheme ever charged, allegedly resulting in an illegal windfall to the hedge fund of more than a quarter of a billion dollars. At the time, the Fed say Martomo was working for the Connecticut firm CR Intrinsic Investors. Investigators say the insider was a drug company consultant who tipped him off about secret findings that a new medication for Alzheimer's had failed clinical trials. But before that was made public, the Fed say Martoma and the hedge fund CR Intrinsic quietly sold more than 10 million shares to avoid that massive financial loss. WCBS News Time 907. Traffic and weather together in 60 seconds. WCBS News Time 908. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Sponsored by Melrose Credit Union. To the roads are Steve Reggie. All right, and it's a pretty busy night. Uh, East Bend LIE, that has been slow, Vicky, right through the evening. Slow from BQE right out to the Little Neck Parkway. At least the accident there is now clear just before you cross over into Nassau County. And westbound Staten Island Expressway, slow coming off the Verrazano Bridge up to Slauson Avenue. Northbound Van Wyck is heavy from the Belt Parkway. 
right up to the Kew Gardens interchange. Hudson River crossings, things are easing a little bit. For instance, uh, Lincoln and Holland Tunnels on the inbound side, you're okay, but still about a 20-minute wait outbound. GW Bridge inbound, upper level about 20 minutes, downstairs less than five. And it's a little slow on the westbound cross Bronx, not too bad West Side Highway or Harlem River Drive, getting to the George Washington Bridge. On Long Island, still clearing that accident in Nassau County, northbound Meadowbrook by Old Country Road, or Old, uh, yes, Old Country Road, exit M1. And then in New Jersey, northbound Garden State Parkway, an accident at exit 144 South Orange. And in the northern suburbs, plenty of slow traffic on the southbound New York State Thruway from the Woodbury Tolls right down to Suffern. They're doing some emergency repairs there. And Connecticut Turnpike, both directions slow between Greenwich and Stamford. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Meteorologist John Dugowinski, uh, what's our forecast looking like? Well, if you're in the uh, WCBS studio, it's going to be chilly, but uh, <laughs> if you're heading out, uh, it's going to be chilly out there throughout the rest of the night as well. Uh, we're going to see quite a few clouds around tonight, uh, low about 42 in Midtown, but uh, 30 to 35 in parts of the Hudson Valley and some of those outlying areas during the day tomorrow. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds, a pretty nice afternoon, as we'll see a high of 52. So if you're heading out on the road traveling for the holiday, it looks like we're going to see some very nice weather. And if you're flying in the skies as well, it doesn't look like we're going to see any travel problems whatsoever across a good part of the country. Clear to partly cloudy and dry out there tomorrow night, low 42. A beautiful day for Thanksgiving Day. Actually, we'll see lots of sunshine out there. High temperatures in the mid-50s. Can't complain for thir- for uh, Thanksgiving Day. A mild day on Friday. Intervals of clouds and sunshine high up to 58. We'll see clouds and sun again for Saturday, but it'll be a lot chillier. A shower possible. It'll be windy as well. High 48 and then blustery and very chilly on Sunday. Partly sunny. High only 43. Right now, it's 46 degrees in Midtown, getting down to 42. I'm meteorologist John Dugowinski in the WCBS Weather Center. Yeah, 34 in here in the studio. Thanks, John. WCBS News Time, 910. Nana and Papa with rich jello pudding from Walmart, which is impressive considering their age. Eat moist Betty Crocker cookies. Come your cousins now with Nestle Toll House Morsels. Walmart has everything you need for a great Thanksgiving meal. Backed by our ad match guarantee. Our stores will match the price of any local competitor's printed ad for an identical product. Not applicable to Walmart.com. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Tis the season for giving. Which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Local's Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. Lewis, a left to Max's jaw, a right to his head. Max shoots a hard right to Lewis. Lewis with the old one-two. First to left and then the right. And Smelling is down. The count is seven, eight. The men are in the ring. The fight is over. Well, let's look at the glamorous crowd at ringside. There's the entire cast of Clifford Odette's Golden Boy. Siggy, Roxy, and Pepper with Tony Shalhoub from TV's Monk. Tom Moody, played by Danny Mastro Giorgio. And next to them, Danny Burstein, who plays Tokyo. And Golden Boy himself, Seth Newbrick as Joe Bonaparte, the talented violinist who gives everything up for fame and fortune in the ring. And for gorgeous Lorna Moon, the Dane from Newark, played by Yvonne Strahovski from TV's Dexter. Just some of the colorful characters sharing the excitement. Take it from me, there are a lot of hits on Broadway, but only one knockout. Lincoln Center Theater presents Golden Boy, directed by Bartlett cheer at the Velasco Theater. Don't get counted out. Visit telecharge.com. WCBS News Time 912. Which local official scores big props for their leadership in the three weeks since Sandy roared into the tri-state? WCBS reporter Rich Lamb says findings of a new poll are unequivocal. The Quinnipiac poll finds prominent elected officials getting high marks for their handling of the Sandy aftermath. But one governor outpolled other local leaders by more than two to one. When we asked to sort of rate who did the best job, Governor Christie of New Jersey wins in the New York City poll. We put him in because he was so ubiquitous during the the storm cleanup. Quinnipiac's Maurice Carroll says Mayor Bloomberg got 12 percent, Governor Cuomo 15, President Obama 22, and Governor Christie 36 percent. In lower Manhattan, Rich Lamb, WCBS 880 News.
As the New Jersey congressional delegation finishes tallying up storm damage before making a formal request for federal assistance, members say they're confident the region will get what it needs to replenish beaches, get people back in their homes, and clean up the mold, muck, and debris. Senator Robert Menendez spells out the top priority. Making sure that we get people back in their homes and to look at Fort Monmouth for housing possibilities as well as other temporary housing over the next 6 to 18 months for those who lost their homes and are displaced and don't have a place to call home. A final tally on damage is not expected until next week. WCBS News Time 913. Sports with Al Gattulo on the way. Sports is next. I heard it can make you sick and miserable. I heard it can make kids so sick they have to go to a hospital. I heard it could put the health of pregnant women in danger. If you have something like diabetes or you're an older adult, I heard it can kill. If you heard that influenza can seriously threaten your health, you heard right. Influenza can strike anyone, and when it does, it makes people sick, putting tens of thousands in the hospital. In New York City, over a thousand people die from influenza every year. So who needs a flu vaccine? Everyone does. But anyone 50 or older, or children younger than five, people who have long-term health problems or are pregnant, are especially at risk. Vaccination is a safe and simple way to protect yourself and your loved ones. Flu vaccine is easy to find. Ask your doctor, call 311 or visit nyc.gov and search for flu. A message from the New York City Health Department. 46 and cloudy. We're going down to 42 in the city, 30s in the suburbs. The five-day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. Wherever you are, we are. New York's News Radio, WCBS 880. Good evening. I'm Vicki Allen. Coming up on WCBS, chances are you have no idea which area airport is being called the healthiest in the nation. That story after sports, business news in 10 minutes, WCBS News Time, 9.15. It's sports time with Al Gattulo. Well, good evening, Vicky. The Knicks trying to string together another winning streak as they open up the first of three in a Western road trip against the New Orleans Hornets. Right now, they're at the half. Knicks up 53-48. to Carmelo Anthony leading the Knicks and all scorers with 23 points on 10 of 15 shooting. Dwight Howard made no secret of his desire to join the Nets this season. Instead, the Magic dealt him to the Lakers, which is not a bad place to end up with Kobe running things. Nets, meanwhile, have been red hot to start the season despite not landing the former defensive player of the year. They'll look to deal Howard and his Lakers a loss later this evening and claim their first victory at Los Angeles in nearly five years. It'll also be former Knicks head coach Mike D'Antoni's first game as the top guy on the Lakers bench. Nets are riding a five-game winning streak. They'll hoist the round ball a little after 10.30 at Staples Center. Yankees re-sign Hiroki Kuroda, a one-year deal worth $15 million. GM Brian Cashman on just a one-year deal for Kuroda. And uh, actually, we don't have that audio right now. We'll get it to you in the next update. Blue Jays hire John Gibbons as their skipper. The Jets have waived wide receiver Jason Hill. Former Jets and Giants wide receiver Plaxico Burris back with the team that drafted him. The Pittsburgh Steelers signing the veteran wideout in the wake of an injury to Jericho Cotchery. Rutgers University officially announcing today they'll become the latest Big East defector, accepting an invitation to join the Big Ten. Sports sponsored by Mercedes-Benz. The Mercedes-Benz winter event is back. It's the best time to get the vehicle you've always dreamed of at a price you never dreamed possible. From the fuel-efficient C-Class sedan to a complete lineup of SUVs, each with formatic all-wheel drive, log on to searchmercedes.com and let the holiday shopping begin. Sports at 15 and 45 past every hour. Al Gattulo, WCBS, 880 Sports. WCBS News Time 917. Traffic and weather together on the way. Come join the celebration at Joe's Bakery at 7550 Metropolitan Ave in Middle Village, Queens, New York, as they celebrate the grand opening of their beautiful brand new facility. Call Joe's Bakery for details at 718-326-0190. Joe's Bakery is proud to offer fresh breads, cookies, pastries, gelato, and cakes for all occasions, and can create almost any cake for you, your family, and friends with at least 24 hours notice. Joe's Bakery has all of your solutions for all of your holiday parties, so call them right now at 718-326-0190 or visit their amazing new bakery at 7550 Metropolitan Ave in Middle Village, New York, featuring their new state-of-the-art baking ovens imported directly from Italy and a delightful bakery decor that will give you a truly authentic taste and feel of Italy. Call Joe's Bakery to place your orders for all of your Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Eve functions. Call Joe's Bakery today at 718-326-0190. That's 718-326-0190. And feel free to fax your orders to them at 718-326-3022.
the road to next. WCBS News Time 918. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8s. Watching the road, Steve Reggie. And Vicki, it's been a pretty busy night. We still have some delays on the eastbound LIE from the BQE right out to the Cross Island Parkway and westbound Staten Island Expressway. You'll hit a brick wall once you come off the Verrazano Bridge right on out to Slauson Avenue. Northbound Van Wyck is also slow from Belt Parkway up to the Kew Gardens Interchange. Hudson River crossings are easing up. Still about 10 to 15 minutes going Jersey bound at the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels, but the inbound side's okay. George Washington Bridge looks good upstairs and downstairs coming into the city. Northbound Meadowbrook Parkway on Long Island, they're still working on the collision by Old Country Road. In New Jersey, we have a couple of problems. Northbound Garden State Parkway, an accident exit 144 South Orange. And northbound New Jersey Turnpike is slow from 15W up to the Vince Lombardi service area. Northern suburbs, lots of slow traffic coming down from Orange County into Rockland County on the New York State Thruway. They're doing some emergency repairs and suffering by 15A. And southbound Connecticut Turnpike also stop and go from Stamford right down to the New York State line. No problems to report right now if you're on 287 through White Plains. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Now the forecast from meteorologist John Dugowinski. It'll be partly to mostly cloudy out there again tonight. We'll see a low of 42 in Midtown, but 30 to 35 across the Hudson Valley and some outlying areas. During the day tomorrow, we'll see times of clouds and sunshine and high up to 52. Clear to partly cloudy tomorrow night, low again 42. And then for Thanksgiving Day, We'll see a pretty nice day out there. It'll be sunny to partly cloudy, highs around 55 degrees. Another mild day on Friday with a mix of sun and clouds, high 58. For Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. It'll be a chillier day, though. A shower possible, high only 48, and then blustery and chilly for Sunday. Despite partly sunny skies, we'll see a high around 43. I'm meteorologist John Dukowenski in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now, it's cloudy pretty much all around the region. 40 degrees in Bridgeport, 34 in Morristown, and it's 46. Cloudy in Manhattan with winds out of the east at 3 miles an hour. WCBS News Time 920. Trojan Math. During these hard economic times, there is no deficit when it comes to pleasure. With Trojan brand condoms, simply by investing in the Trojan Pleasure Pack, you'll be stimulating much more than the economy. After all, you deserve a condom pack that offers variety and affordability. Others might be tightening their belts, but in case you're doing the opposite, make sure you're covered. For life, liberty, and the pursuit of pleasure, you can count on Trojan, America's number one most trusted condom brand. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure, can't hurt, right? Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50, and the multivitamin they used for the study, Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor, he really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. WCBS 880 is a proud partner of Why Hunger, an organization that supports grassroots efforts to fight poverty and hunger in our communities. Each year before Thanksgiving, we help raise money during the day-long radio fundraiser called Hunger Thon. But with our communities hurting from Sandy, our attention is focused now on that recovery. We'll be doing Hunger Thon in a few weeks, and this year will be more important than ever. In the meantime, support Why Hunger by going to hungerthon.org. WCBS News Time 922. Newark Airport has been deemed the healthiest in the country. That's the bottom line of an annual airport survey by dietitians at the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. The Washington-based group credits Newark for having the highest percentage of airport restaurants that serve at least one low-fat, high-fiber, or cholesterol-free entree. The Physicians Group found that of Newark Liberty's 61 restaurants, 56 offer healthy choices. Newark topped a list of 18 major airports. JFK and LaGuardia were not ranked. Federal and state officials in New Jersey say they've cracked a major heroin network that was supplying dealers in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania and D.C. State Attorney General Jeffrey Chiesa says 15 people have been arrested with another two being sought. More than three kilos of bulk heroin have been confiscated, along with almost 500 bricks of the drug ready for resale. Investigators say the operation was based in a series of heroin mills and stash houses in Patterson. 
They've identified the alleged kingpin as Segundo Garcia, a 36-year-old from Prospect Park, New Jersey. WCBS News Time 923. Are you having trouble getting your kids out the door in the morning? I'm Pat Carroll for Parents Magazine with Raising Our Kids. If your child seems to get trapped at the breakfast table chatting or playing on his iPhone, set a cell phone alarm, something fun like a duck quacking, to go off just before you're due out the door. This will alert him that he has three minutes to finish his toast and his game before he has to head out the door. It also allows you, as a parent, to disassociate yourself with the nagging as you let the alarm call attention to the time instead of you. If you know that you can never find an umbrella, buy a bunch of cheap ones to keep by the door to grab and go. Similarly, buy socks in bulk so that even mismatched pairs go together. If possible, keep a supply of single-dollar bills on hand, too, for last-minute school-related money requirements. With Raising Our Kids, I'm Pat Carroll, WCBS 880. WCBS News, Time 924, a business update after this. Mom was always fiercely independent, so it broke my heart when it looked like I had no choice but to put her in a nursing home. I couldn't imagine her leaving the home where she made so many memories. Thankfully, I discovered a better choice. Health First Managed Long-Term Care Auctions. Health First offers managed long-term care plans that provide the specialized, coordinated care frail elderly people like mom need to maintain their independence and continue to live at home. Thanks to Health First Managed Long-Term Care Auctions, mom will not only be able to feel at home, she will be at home, and that's of great comfort to our family. Find out if Health First Managed Long-Term Care Auctions are right for your loved one. Call 1-855-552-4369, 1-855-552-4369, seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., or visit hflongtermcare.org. WCBS News Time 925, a business update now. Here's Bruce Fay live at the Wall Street Journal. Hi, Vicki. News Corp has agreed to buy a 49% stake in the New York Regional Sports Network, yes, in a deal worth roughly $1.5 billion. The deal also provides a path for News Corp to eventually raise its stake in the network to 80%. Yes, is key asset, of course, is the right to broadcast Yankees games. News Corp already has ownership interests in 20 other regional sports networks. Walmart got some bad news today when the National Labor Relations Board said it would not seek an injunction to prevent protests and rallies at Walmart stores over the Black Friday weekend. Walmart said the United Food and Commercial Workers Union is behind the protests as it tries to represent Walmart workers. Protests are planned at hundreds of stores, but the retailer said they will not impact operations. Expect to see lots of thin, flat packages under the Christmas tree this year as a new survey says a third of consumers are thinking about buying a tablet computer. 22% of those surveyed said they would cut back on other purchases in order to afford a tablet. 25% of those surveyed said an iPad was their first choice. 15% said they would go for a Kindle Fire, while 8% said they would buy a new Microsoft Surface tablet. We had mixed results on Wall Street today with the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropping 7 points to 12,788. The Nasdaq Composite was up a fraction. The S&P 500 also gained just a fraction. I'm Bruce Vale at the Wall Street Journal for WCBS News Radio 880. Business news at 25 and 55 past every hour here on WCBS 880. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time 927. A business and a nonprofit are teaming up to help the hardest hit storm victims in New York and New Jersey. CEO Lou D'Ambrosio says Sears will offer up to 30% discounts on appliances and home services for Zone A residents. The nonprofit Rebuilding Together has announced it will immediately start rebuilding five to ten homes, focusing on critical repairs in areas devastated by the storm. 
A popular large-scale exhibit of a living room surrounding a statue of Christopher Columbus in Midtown has been extended by two weeks. Discovering Columbus by Japanese artist Tatsu Nishi has become a must-see attraction since it opened in the middle of Columbus Circle September 20th. It will now remain there until December 2nd. WCBS News Time 928. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th or Steve Reggie. About a 10 to 15 minute wait going Jersey bound at the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels. But inbound, you're okay. And the George Washington Bridge has eased up as well. Not too bad either direction. Still a lot of slow traffic, though, in Queens on the eastbound Long Island Expressway. BQE right on out to the Cross Island Parkway. Northbound Van Wyke also slow in Queens from Rockaway Boulevard up to the Kew Gardens Interchange. Northern suburbs watch for delays on the southbound New York State Thruway. From the Woodbury Tolls down to Suffern, they're doing emergency repair work at 15A. Tappanzee Bridge going Westchester bound. You also have a couple of lanes out of service for nighttime repairs. On Long Island, northbound Meadowbrook, an accident by Old Country Road. And in New Jersey, northbound Garden State Parkway. Watch for a collision by exit 144. That's in South Orange. Here's meteorologist John Dugowinski with WCBS Pinpoint Weather. It'll be partly to mostly cloudy tonight. We'll see a low of 42 in Midtown, 30 to 35 in some outlying areas in parts of the Hudson Valley. And during the day tomorrow, we'll see times of clouds and sunshine out there. A pretty nice day, high 52. Clear to partly cloudy tomorrow night, low again, 42. And then another nice day as we head into Thanksgiving Day as we'll see sunshine and patchy clouds and high around 55. It'll be mild again on Friday, intervals of sun and clouds and high of 58. I'm meteorologist John Dukowinski in the WCBS Weather Center. And right now it's cloudy, 46 degrees in Manhattan. Winds are out of the east at 3 miles an hour. WCBS News Time, 9.30. News, traffic and weather. On air, online. We are News Radio. WCBS 880. Good evening. It's Tuesday, November 20th. I'm Vicki Allen. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. A person of interest in the deaths of three Brooklyn shopkeepers is being questioned by the NYPD tonight. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton meets with Israel's Prime Minister to try to broker a Mideast peace deal. CBS News correspondent Charlie Daggett in Gaza City covering the offensive finds himself in the line of fire. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke offers a warning ahead of the so-called fiscal cliff. In sports, the Knicks leading the Hornets 53-50, third quarter in New Orleans. The Nets tipping off against the Lakers one hour from now in L.A. And the Yankees re-sign Hiroki Kuroda to a one-year deal worth $15 million. WCBS News Time, 931. The man captured on video surveillance near Friday's murder scene of a Brooklyn shopkeeper has come to be referred to as John Doe Duffel Bag. The middle-aged balding man seen carrying a duffel bag is being questioned tonight by police. NYPD Deputy Commissioner Paul Brown says he was picked up in Bay Ridge this afternoon and is still talking to police. He says the hope is... The man may be able to shed some light on last week's murder and two others back in July and August. Investigators say all three were shot by the same 22 caliber gun and all were of Middle Eastern descent and small business owners. Arriving this afternoon in Jerusalem, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton trying to broker a truce between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. I'm Robert Berger in Jerusalem. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and called for a ceasefire. We believe it is essential to de-escalate the situation in Gaza. Netanyahu said Israel prefers a diplomatic solution, but hinting at a ground assault on Gaza, he said Israel will do whatever is necessary to stop Palestinian rocket attacks. Robert Berger, CBS News, Jerusalem. In Gaza City, covering the rocket assault all week, CBS News correspondent Charlie Daggett has found himself in the line of fire when the impact of shelling blew out the windows of his hotel room. We're all okay. The bomb landed uh, not far from here, obviously. We're next to a mosque that is under construction. We thought it would be safe because of that. Uh, and it landed out in the street next to us, and it was powerful enough and close enough to blow out all the windows in my room. Israel is said to be intensifying its attacks in what may be a last burst of firepower ahead of an anticipated ceasefire ending the week-long conflict in Gaza. Heavy bursts of fire from tanks in southern Israel and gunboats off Gaza's coast could be heard late into the day. The intended target was not immediately clear. No casualties reported. WCBS News Time 933. 
a warning from the Fed chairman uh, to Congress ahead of the so-called fiscal cliff. Here's CBS News business correspondent Alexis Christophers. Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke is warning Congress and the president that the economy will slip back into a recession if they fail to avoid the fiscal cliff. In a speech to the Economic Club of New York, Bernanke urged lawmakers and President Obama to strike a budget deal to avert tax increases and spending cuts set to take effect January 1st. And the fiscal cliff, the combination of tax hikes and spending cuts that could push the country into a recession if they are allowed to go into effect in January. That will automatically happen unless Congress takes action. WCBS News Time 934. More news in just a minute. Liz. Todd? I want you back. You're just saying that because I got a makeover to make me look hot, even though I was hot to begin with. No, no, no. I miss those nights instantly watching TV episodes and movies online with Netflix. We watched as much as we wanted. Whenever and wherever we wanted. So, you love me? Even if I put these glasses back on? Wow, those are thick. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Look, it's Lord Horsey. They say he has instant access to a wealth of entertainment, a most appropriate suitor. He <laughs> is of Netflix. Lavishes $8 a month on thousands of TV episodes and movies. I heard he watches them over the internet. Pish posh, it's the 1700s. Internet doesn't exist yet. Oh, do hush, child. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time, 9.35. The NYPD goes after an ad agency and more than a dozen people charged in what's being called a prostitution-based money laundering ring. WCBS reporter Marla Diamond with details. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly says it's right under our noses. All anyone has to do is to open a copy of the Village Voice to see how classified advertising and prostitution go hand in hand in this city. So Mad Enterprises in Chelsea is accused of creating and placing ads for five alleged prostitution rings. The escort services created shell companies to make the bills appear to be for physical therapy, business consulting, and other services. 19 have been charged with various counts of promoting prostitution and money laundering. Among the alleged Johns arrested is David Mendelowitz, a former guidance counselor and dean of students at Scarsdale High School. At police headquarters, Marla Diamond, WCBS 880 News. Several criminal cases in the city may be compromised. This, based on what Police Commissioner Ray Kelly says, is flood damage to some criminal evidence. Uh, it may be some uh, DNA evidence. It may be other types of evidence that was flooded evidence that we kept at our, our storage facilities. Uh, significant flooding has, has taken place, There's no question about it. We're still trying to sort through this and, and uh, you know, assess the total damage. It's, uh, it's a big job. The devastating storm surge from Sandy caused Newton Creek to overflow and flood the Greenpoint section of Brooklyn, which is where the NYPD storage facility is located. WCBS News Time 937. We'll check traffic and weather together next. Guys, you've heard about Ageless Male, the natural supplement that helps boost testosterone levels within normal, healthy ranges. But now, the best testosterone product is even better. New and improved Ageless Male can help you feel more like you used to in your active life and in your romantic life. Because our upgraded formula has been clinically shown to increase your drive, desire, and performance. That's right, guys. Ageless Male has been clinically shown to boost performance. Cancel your plans this weekend. You're staying in. 
If you're ready to recapture the drive from your youth, now is the time to try Ageless Mail because it's available risk-free. But you must call now. Just call 1-800-249-1889. Be the guy you used to be. Just call 1-800-249-1889. 1-800-249-1889. 1-800-249-1889. WCBS News Time 938. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Let's check in now with Steve Reggie in the traffic center. And Vicki, a serious accident northbound on the Hutch, not in Westchester, in the Bronx, right by Westchester Avenue. So that's still the Bronx now. And if you're going northbound from, let's say, Co-op City, you're going to hit some very heavy traffic there. All lanes subject to closure at exit 2. So instead, maybe go with Interstate 95, the New England Thruway through that area. And we still have plenty of delays eastbound LIE from the BQE out to the Cross Island Parkway. It's just been a very slow night on the Long Island Expressway. Hudson River crossings are easing up now, but still about 10 to 15 minutes going Jersey bound at the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels. The inbound side's okay. George Washington Bridge looks all right for now. In New Jersey, North Garden State Parkway, an accident in South Orange at exit 144. Northern suburbs, plenty of slow traffic as you make your way from Orange County down to Rockland County on the New York State Thruway. What's going on? They've got a couple of lanes out of service at 15A in Suffern with emergency repairs. And southbound Connecticut Turnpike, also pretty slow. Stamford right down to the New York State line. On Long Island, northbound Meadowbrook Parkway at Old Country Road, accident being worked on in Nassau County. Suffolk County looks okay, though. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Now the forecast, here's meteorologist John Dugowinski. It'll be mostly cloudy out there tonight. We'll see a low of 42 in Midtown, but 30 to 35 across uh, parts of the Hudson Valley and some outlying areas as well. During the day tomorrow, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds and a pretty nice day with a high up to 52. Patchy clouds around for tomorrow night, low again around 42, and then sunny to partly cloudy and rather nice for Thanksgiving Day as we'll see a high up to 55. The dry, nice, mild weather continues into Friday as we'll see a mix of sun and clouds and a high of 58. I'm meteorologist John Dugowinski in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now it's cloudy, 40 degrees in Islip, 37 in Somerville, and it's 46 in Manhattan. Winds out of the east at just three miles an hour. WCBS News Time, 940. How far would you go to help save someone's life? How about to your garage? If you have an unneeded vehicle, donate it to the Salvation Army. They'll pick it up for free, and the proceeds from its sale will help someone in the grip of addiction reclaim his life. To donate your vehicle, call 1-800-SA-TRUCK or visit satruck.org. You will be doing the most good. Mom was always independent, so it broke my heart when I thought she might need a nursing home. Thankfully, I discovered a better choice. Health First manage long-term care options, provide the specialized, coordinated care mom needs to help her stay where her heart is, at home. Find out if a Health First managed long-term care plan is right for you. Call 1-855-552-4369, 1-855-552-4369, seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., or visit hflongtermcare.org. My mum always says hard work never hurt anybody. Good advice, as usual. So we worked very hard to make Geico.com very easy. Say you want to report a claim and follow its progress. You can do it all online at Geico.com. Not to mention perhaps saving a tidy sum of money on your car insurance. All it takes is a few clicks. So visit Geico.com today. Oh, and mum, if you're listening, yes, I did wash behind my ears this morning. Tis the season for giving, which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Locals Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. More options for your Thanksgiving feast. Dining Diaries on the way. WCBS News Time 942. I'm Bob Lape with Dining Diary. Moving into the mid-range pricing for Thanksgiving eats at Tri-State Restaurants, we find New Jersey's Blue Morel at $59, the Frog and Peach, 54 and the fine Mitch and Tony's on Long Island pegged at 54 
$55 deals in town, Oceana, DBGB, Savah, North Square, Black Duck, Aloro, and B. Smith's on Restaurant Row. Holiday meals from $45 to $50 at Padre Fio, Ocean Grill, Blue Water Grill, Atlantic Grill, West and East, Bluefin, Lumi, Palm West, Boca, and Peels, and in Westchester, Modern Barn in Armonk. Ever popular Amanda's in Hoboken will set a $45 table, and the Theater District Mecca, Trattoria Dopo Teatro, is but 40 Two busy Italian spots, Villa Mosconi in the Village and Isabella's on the Upper West Side, will do turkey and trimmings for $39, and Ruth's Chris has a $37 spread at each of its five locations. That's Dining Diary. I'm Bob Lape, WCBS 880. WCBS News, Time 943. Sports with Al Gattulo after this. I heard it can make you sick and miserable. I heard it can make kids so sick they have to go to a hospital. I heard it could put the health of pregnant women in danger. If you have something like diabetes or you're an older adult, I heard it can kill. If you heard that influenza can seriously threaten your health, you heard right. Influenza can strike anyone, and when it does, it makes people sick, putting tens of thousands in the hospital. In New York City, over a thousand people die from influenza every year. So who needs a flu vaccine? Everyone does, but anyone 50 or older, or children younger than five, people who have long-term health problems or are pregnant are especially at risk. Vaccination is a safe and simple way to protect yourself and your loved ones. Flu vaccine is easy to find. Ask your doctor, call 311 or visit nyc.gov and search for flu. A message from the New York City Health Department. 46 degrees, it's cloudy, heading down to 42 in Midtown, 30 is across the suburbs. The five-day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. When you need to know, we've got you covered. Good evening, I'm Vicki Allen. Coming up on WCBS, the fun times are over for one Sesame Street puppeteer. That story after sports business news in 10 minutes. WCBS News time 945. Time for sports and here's Al Gattulo. Oh, Vicki, the Knicks put the NBA's best record on the line tonight. They play the Hornets in New Orleans. 2.59 to go here in the third quarter. All Knicks, they're up 76 to 60. Carmelo Anthony with 29 points. He had 19 in the first quarter. No Anthony Davis for the Hornets. He's being listed as day-to-day with a left ankle injury. The Nets take a five-game winning streak into Los Angeles tonight. They'll go up against the Lakers. It's the middle stop on a three-game Western road trip. Mike D'Antoni will make his Lakers coaching debut tonight after a recent knee replacement. Tip-off set for 10-30. The Yankees re-sign Hiroki Kuroda, a one-year deal worth $15 GM Brian Cashman on just a one-year deal for Kuroda. I think it's it's something that I think has fit our, you know, um, how we've operated here in the last number of years um, to do short-term circumstances on high-end players. The Blue Jays hired John Gibbons as their skipper. It's a second go-around for him. Free agent reliever Joel Peralta has finalized a $6 million two-year contract. That keeps him in Tampa with the Rays. Jets, a very short week. They'll take on the Patriots Thanksgiving night. They practiced in Florham Park tonight. They also waived wide receiver Jason Hill. The NHL is asking the Players Association for a comprehensive proposal after another round of labor talks on Monday. After presenting the last two proposals, league says it now wants a proposal from the union on all core economic issues. The two sides set to meet on Wednesday, the lockout is in its 66th day, and all games have been canceled for this month, and the season could be on the line here if a deal isn't done very soon. Sports sponsored by Bell Audi. During Bell Audi's Season of Audi event, Audi will make your first lease payment up to $1,800 on select 2013 models. Lease an Audi A6 Premium for just $495 per month and an Audi A4 Premium for just $359 per month. Visit bellaudi.com. Sports at 15 and 45. Al Gattulo, WCBS 880 Sports. WCBS News Time 947. Traffic and weather together now. During these tough economic times, there is one thing you can count on, your education. Higher education will give you the chance at finding a better job and improve the quality of your life. Further your education and advance your career today. If you're looking to go back to school in the next three months and already have your high school diploma, start your search with the National Education Online Center. You'll get free expert advice, school information, and a free financial aid guide. NEOC will help you get matched to your right school today. Call 877-516-0727. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. 
we've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time 948 Traffic and Weather Together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Let's see what's out there on the road. Steve Reggie. Okay, uh, Vicki, uh, we have that problem on the Hutchinson River Parkway in the Bronx. Uh, northbound, you have a truck striking the overpass at Westchester Avenue. The truck shouldn't have even been on the parkway. And then, of course, he's rolling along and hits one of those low overpasses. That's going to be a big problem. So northbound, all lanes closed. Southbound, left lane closed. And again, that's at Westchester Avenue. Not in Westchester County. It's in the Bronx. And we also see slow traffic eastbound Long Island Expressway from the BQE right on out to the Cross Island Parkway. Hudson River crossings inbound. Your minor delays, you have minor delays at the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels and the GW Bridge. Outbound Lincoln and Holland, about 10 to 15 minutes. On Long Island, northbound Meadowbrook, a collision by Old Country Road, a couple of lanes blocked there. In New Jersey, northbound Garden State Parkway, an accident in South Orange by exit 144. Northern suburbs, they're doing repairs on the Tappan Zee Bridge going to Westchester County. And the southbound New York State Thruway is packed from the Woodbury Tolls right down to Suffern with emergency repairs blocking a couple of lanes at exit 15A in Rockland. County. And southbound Connecticut Turnpike also slow from Stanford right to the New York state line. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Now the forecast from meteorologist John Dugowinski. It'll be partly to mostly cloudy out there again tonight. We'll see a low of 42 in Midtown, but 30 to 35 across the Hudson Valley and some outlying areas. During the day tomorrow, we'll see times of clouds and sunshine and high up to 52. Clear to partly cloudy tomorrow night, low again 42. And for Thanksgiving Day, We'll see a pretty nice day out there. It'll be sunny to partly cloudy. Highs around 55 degrees. Another mild day on Friday with a mix of sun and clouds. High 58. For Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. It'll be a chillier day, though. A shower possible. High only 48. And then blustery and chilly for Sunday. Despite partly sunny skies, we'll see a high around 43. I'm meteorologist John Dukowensky in the WCBS Weather Center. It's cloudy, 36 degrees in Caldwell, 38 in White Plains, 46 in Manhattan. WCBS News Time, 950. More news on the way. Attention hip implant patients. Are you in constant pain? Have you received a letter from your doctor about your implant? Have you had or need a revision surgery? Do you have high levels of metal, chromium, or cobalt in your blood? Over 90,000 hip implant devices have been recalled due to defects and failures resulting in revision or replacement surgery. If you have a recalled hip implant, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-449-4269 to see if your implant is affected by the recalls. If you or a loved one has a defective or recalled hip implant, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-449-4269. That's 800-449-4269. Protect your legal rights today. Call 800-449-4269. This is an advertisement, not valid in all states. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. iLawsuit.com is an advertising group that represents lawyers advertising their services and is a free matching service for consumers. It is not a law firm or lawyer referral service. We're just getting word into the WCBS newsroom. There is a verdict in the trial. When you want the latest news. All eyes are on the important jobs report. When you need traffic and weather together on the 8th. A half dozen collisions. Heavy rainfall across. Your home for every pitch of New York Yankees baseball. What a play. New York's news radio. WCBS 880. WCBS news time 952. The back and forth over the employment status of Elmo puppeteer Kevin Clash is over. After 28 years on the job, he has resigned from Sesame Street in the wake of an allegation he had sex with an underaged youth. Sesame Workshop released a statement calling it a sad day for Sesame Street, saying the controversy around Clash's personal life has become a distraction no one there wanted. As for the Elmo character, Professor Robert Thompson, director of the Center for Pop Television at Syracuse University, says the little guy should be fine. This character will certainly survive uh, uh, a cast change. Uh, How many cast changes has James Bond had? And it's going strong. And he adds that the audience is young and constantly changing. So there should be no problem as for Elmo's future. The 
lawyer for Clash says there had been they have been contacted by two other potential victims and expected more legal action. WCBS News Time nine fifty three. I'm Paul Murnane with Dish and Digital, sponsored by B&H Photo and Video, New York's ultimate camera authority. For a lot of us, a big part of finding the best tech gift this holiday season means finding the best deal. And CBS Money Watch editor-at-large Jill Schlesinger says you don't have to brave the crowds. I think 70% of doorbusters are actually available online. And Kimberly Amadeo, who puts together the U.S. Economy Guide at About.com, says Cyber Monday is expected to be huge again. Cyber Monday sales are going to be up 12% this year versus 4.1% for uh, Black Friday or the overall holiday season. And that's because people are finding that most of the sales are online. Kimberly says another trend this holiday season, early shopping. 80% of people started their Christmas shopping before Black Friday. And 40% or half of those started it before Halloween. Next time on the Dish and Digital Guide to the Holidays, how to arm yourself to save. Dish and Digital, I'm Paul Bernain. For more, visit cbsnewyork.com slash dish and digital. WCBS News Time 954, the business news after the... Tis the season for giving, which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Locals Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. Do you suffer from pain like joint pain, muscle pain, back pain, or painful arthritis? Then you must listen to this important message. Nearly half of all Americans suffer from some kind of pain due to chronic inflammation. Anatoblock is a breakthrough supplement scientifically proven to quickly and effectively reduce inflammation and get rid of pain. Anatoblock is so effective in preventing excessive inflammation and reducing the pain, we guarantee you'll feel a significant difference in just a few days. Best of all, Anatoblock is now available to try for free. That's right. Call 800-648-5148 now and get out of pain absolutely free. Anatoblock is now looking for real-life testimonials for anyone who has back pain, muscle pain, or painful arthritis. Call 800-648-5148 to get your free supply and get out of pain today. Just call 800-648-5148 for details. Call today, 800-648-5148. That's 800-648-5148. Again, 800-648-5148. WCBS News Time 955. A business update now from Bruce Vale, live at the Wall Street Journal. Hi, Vicki. The fiscal cliff could be a major problem for nearly everyone who pays federal income taxes, and it will also affect millions of people who currently don't pay taxes or pay very little. Tomorrow's journal says tax hikes would be bigger for many lower income taxpayers than for higher income households. The journal's John McKinnon says married couples in the twenty to thirty thousand dollar income range could face a tax in increase of $1,400. That's coming after they've been accustomed to paying basically nothing in income taxes and in fact getting small refunds back from the government. So now they're facing a situation where they're suddenly going to owe the government $1,400. There has been some optimism among lawmakers this week that a compromise will be reached to avoid the fiscal cliff. If you're looking to make a little extra dough this holiday season, Domino's is hiring. The pizza chain says it plans to hire up to 25,000 extra workers for the holidays for positions including delivery drivers, order takers, and even pizza makers. Wall Street's two-session winning streak was snapped today as the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell seven points, closing at 12,788. The Nasdaq Composite and the S&P 500 did each gain a fraction. I'm Bruce Vale at the Wall Street Journal for WCBS News Radio 880. Business news at 25 and 55 around the clock here on WCBS 880. Traffic and weather together and our top stories with John Lesher on the way. Important medical alert for users of antidepressant prescription drugs. If you or a loved one used certain antidepressant prescription drugs before or during pregnancy, including Zoloft, Depakote, Paxil, Prozac, Wellbutrin, Lexapro, Celexa, or Effexor, and have a child born with a birth defect such as cleft lip, cleft palate, club foot, or other heart, lung, and cranial defects, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation and future medical expenses for your child's condition. Call 800-322-7975 now if you or a loved one used certain 
certain antidepressant prescription drugs before or during pregnancy and have a child born with a birth defect, time is limited to file a claim. Act now. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-322-7975. That's 800-322-7975. The call and consultation are free. 800-322-7975. This is an advertisement, not valid in all states. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. iLawsuit.com is an advertising group that represents lawyers advertising their services and is a free matching service for consumers. It is not a law firm or lawyer referral service. Traffic's next. WCBS News Time 958 Traffic and Weather Together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Here's Steve Reggie. Problems in the Bronx, Vicki. If you're heading northbound on the Hutch, big accident by Westchester Avenue, not in Westchester County. That's still in the Bronx. Tractor trailer has struck an overpass there. Southbound, the left lane is closed in that same area. And eastbound LIE remains slow, going from the BQE out to the Cross Island Parkway. Hudson River crossings are pretty good. In New Jersey, northbound Garden State Parkway, an accident by exit 144. Northern suburbs, lots of slow traffic on the southbound New York State Thruway from the Woodbury Tolls to Suffern because they're doing emergency repairs by 15A. Here's a check of WCBS pinpoint weather. Mostly cloudy tonight, low 42 midtown, 30 to 35 in the Hudson Valley and some outlying areas. Mix of sun and clouds for tomorrow, high 52. Patchy clouds tomorrow night, low 42. And then a nice day on Thanksgiving Day with lots of sunshine, high 55. I'm meteorologist John Dugowenski in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now, the winds are calm across Manhattan. It's still cloudy, and we're down two degrees in the past hour to 44 in Central Park. I'm Vicki Allen. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS New York. I'm Jen Lesher, and here's the latest from the WCBS Newsroom. The NYPD is questioning a person of interest in the shooting deaths of three shopkeepers in Brooklyn. Bail is denied the city cop accused of plotting to kidnap and cook women. A new poll finds New Yorkers believe Governor Christie handled the recovery from Hurricane Sandy best, followed by President Obama. The free rides are over for most NJ Transit users, and there's still no deal to end the week-long Israeli offensive in the Gaza Strip. In sports, the Knicks are beating the Hornets 83-64 in the fourth quarter. The Nets in Los Angeles to face the Lakers at 10-30. And Hiroki Kuroda signs on with the Yankees for next year. WCBS News Time, 10 o'clock. CBS News, I'm Bill Whitney. The Mideast situation seems doomed to get worse before it gets better. More explosions rock Gaza today and Hamas rockets rain down on Israel as diplomats worked feverishly to end the hostilities. I'm Robert Berger in Jerusalem. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and called for a ceasefire. We believe it is essential to de-escalate the situation in Gaza. Netanyahu said Israel prefers a diplomatic solution, but hinting at a ground assault on Gaza, he said Israel will do whatever is necessary to stop Palestinian rocket attacks. Secretary Clinton flew to Jerusalem from the Southeast Asia summit. Tomorrow she meets with Palestinian President Abbas in the West Bank and with Egyptian President Morsi in Cairo. Republicans on Capitol Hill have suggested the Obama administration tried to cover up the fact that terrorists attacked the U.S. consulate in Benghazi. Days later, U.N. Ambassador Susan Rice said it was spontaneous, growing out of a, a protest over that anti-Muslim video. She based her comments on talking points provided by U.S. intelligence. But CBS News correspondent Margaret Brennan reports they'd been edited. A government official tells us that references to al-Qaeda and terrorism were cut from the talking points by the intelligence community, not the White House or the State Department. The edits came from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, DNI, with the agreement of the CIA and the FBI. The official told us someone in the office of the DNI crossed it out because the links were deemed too tenuous to make public at that point. Thanksgiving travelers in the Northeast might feel the effects of Superstorm Sandy. Rental cars are in short supply because so many vehicles were damaged or destroyed. New York City Police Commissioner Ray Kelly says evidence in criminal cases might also have been lost. It may be some uh, DNA evidence. It may be other types of evidence that was flooded evidence that we kept at our, our storage facilities. And the Nielsen Company says it can't report TV ratings in the New York market this month because nearly half of its sample homes suffered power outages or worse. 
San Francisco's nudists will have to cover up. The Board of Supervisors has approved Supervisor Scott Wiener's proposal to ban public nakedness. Free expression in the abstract is really nice until it comes to your neighborhood. It was a close vote, 6 to 5. Supervisor Christina Ologi was among the dissenters. What's next? You know, I know a lot of people think that that's cliche, but I, I mean, I do ask that question. You know, uh, what, piercing or tattooing or yellow hair. The ban was prompted by complaints about a group of men in the predominantly gay Castro district who've been letting it all hang out on a regular basis. The Dow seven points lower today. It closed at 12,788. The Nasdaq up a fraction at 2916. This is CBS News. Attention homeowners. If your home has lost value and you now owe more than your home is worth, please listen carefully to this very important message. If you purchased a home or refinanced your loan before June of 2009, Quicken Loans may now be able to help you refinance at today's incredibly low interest rates, even if you owe more than your home is worth. This is Jay Farner, president of Quicken Loans, and I want to let you know that on September 14th of this year, the government announced changes that may allow you to refinance even if your home has lost value. So if your current mortgage is higher than 3.99%, please call Quicken Loans today at 800-QUICKEN. Even if you owe more than your home is worth, you may now be able to refinance at today's incredibly low rates. Again, if you've been unable to refinance because you owe more than your home is worth and your rate is above 3.99%, call 800-QUICKEN now and let us help you take advantage of this unique opportunity. Important terms and conditions apply. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. And MLS number 3030. Live from Studio 11A at the CBS Hudson Square Broadcast Center, we are News Radio. WCBS HD and WCBS FM HD3 New York. Good evening. It is Tuesday, November 20th. WCBS weather. Clouds will give way to a mostly sunny day tomorrow. The high will be 52 degrees. Right now, we have a cloudy sky, a calm wind, and a temperature of 44 degrees in New York City. WCBS News Time, 10.05. In the news tonight, the NYPD says it's talking to a man who fits the description of John Doe Duffelbag. They were looking for him in connection with the latest in three deadly shootings of Brooklyn business owners of Middle Eastern descent. Right now, the police say he's a person of interest in the case, so while they are talking to him, he is not in police custody. Now, an update on the city cop accused of planning to kill and cook women. In order to make sure he would not get out on bail, federal prosecutor Hadassah Waxman pulled out a Thanksgiving-themed email sent by police officer Gilberto Valle to his co-conspirators. On February 9th of this year, he wrote, I'm planning on getting some girl meat this November for Thanksgiving. It's a long way off, but I'm getting a plan in motion. She will not be a volunteer. She has to be abducted. I know where she lives. I'll grab her right from home. The defense attorney argued that nothing happened here, that no women were harmed, and that all the chat room chat, while weird, was just fantasy. That argument fell flat. The judge denied bail, calling the officer's conduct depraved, bizarre, and aberrational. From Manhattan Federal Court, Irene Cornell, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 1006. We now know which politician gets the highest marks for his response to Hurricane Sandy. The Quinnipiac poll finds New York City voters believe Mayor Bloomberg, Governor Cuomo, and President Obama all did a good or excellent job responding to the storm. But New Jersey's governor got the top accolades. The numbers are incredible. Who did the best job? Well, Mayor Bloomberg, 12 percent. Governor Cuomo, 15 percent. President Obama, 22 percent. Governor Christie, 36 percent. As Quinnipiac's Maurice Carroll put it, the love fest between Governor Christie and President Obama seems to have moved voters. Rich Lamb, WCBS 880 News. The free rides are over for most NJ Transit users. The agency says it will discontinue most of the free shuttle bus and ferry services it initiated after Sandy by 8 p.m. Wednesday. It will continue to offer free shuttle service along the suspended Gladstone branch of the Morris and Essex rail lines, but that service won't operate on Thursday or Friday. And commuter ferry service will be offered between Great Kills on Staten Island and Manhattan. The Department of Transportation expects the service to begin by November 26th and run for eight weeks as storm recovery efforts continue. WCBS News Time 1007 will check traffic and weather after this. 
Life is full motion. Whether you're a stay-at-home parent, athlete, or work outdoors or in an office, from the time you get up in the morning, you are a body in motion. But when simple movements trigger severe joint pain, like walking, getting out of a car, or reaching for a lamp, it may be time to speak with a joint replacement expert at ONS, orthopedic and neurosurgery specialist in Greenwich, Connecticut. Hip and knee replacement specialist Dr. Brian Cavanaugh and Dr. Frank Ennis and shoulder specialist Dr. Seth Miller are leaders in the field and use the most advanced techniques to help patients return to active lifestyles. Working with the coordinated joint replacement program at Greenwich Hospital, our surgeons have helped thousands of patients with arthritis and joint injuries to regain mobility. If chronic joint pain is keeping you from enjoying the best moments in life, speak with one of our joint replacement experts. Call ONS at 800-999-9667 or visit onsmd.com. WCBS News Time 1008. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. And at the Traffic Center, here's Steve Reggie. And problems continue, John. If you're going northbound on the Hutch in in the Bronx, we have an accident by Westchester Avenue with a tractor trailer striking the overpass. So currently northbound all lanes closed, southbound the left lane is closed. Try to stay away from that Hutchinson River Parkway in the Bronx. Eastbound LIE, generally slow from the BQE on out toward Nassau County, finally breaks up after the Cross Island Parkway. Hudson River crossings are good. In New Jersey, northbound Garden State Parkway, a collision in South Orange at exit 144. Northern suburbs, pretty busy tonight. We have lots of traffic on the southbound New York State Thruway from the Woodbury Tolls right down to Suffern. They're doing some emergency repair work at 15A. Both directions of the Tappan Zee Bridge also have concerns construction tonight, taking out a couple of lanes. And southbound Connecticut Turnpike, that is slow from Stamford right down to the New York State line. They're doing some repair work there as well. Long Island's in good shape. LIE, Northern State and Southern State moving well through Nassau and Suffolk counties. If you see a traffic tie-up, be a WCBS cellmate. Call 212-975-8888. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Now an update on the forecast and live at the Weather Center, here's meteorologist John Dugowinski. Well, it looks like it'll be a pretty quiet night out there again tonight. Uh, we'll see some uh, mid and high level clouds moving across the region and uh, low temperature about 42 in Midtown, but 30 to 35 across uh, some of those outlying areas and parts of the Hudson Valley as well. And then during the day tomorrow, it'll be a pretty decent day. Times of clouds and sunshine out there, the high around 52 Clear to partly cloudy tomorrow night. Low again around 42. And then for Thanksgiving Day, a very nice day out there. Sunshine and patchy clouds. High temperature up to about 55 degrees. A mild day on Friday. Intervals of clouds and sunshine and high around 58. And then as we head into Saturday, we'll continue to see a mix of sun and clouds. But it's going to be a lot uh, colder out there as we'll see uh, chilly winds. And high of only 48 degrees. Blustery and chilly weather will continue into sa- Sunday. Partial sunshine, high 43. Currently, it's 44 degrees in Midtown. We're going to get down to a low of about 42. I'm meteorologist John Dugowinski in the WCBS Weather Center. Coming up, we'll tell you about a big insider trading arrest. WCBS News Time, 1010. Lewis, a left to Max's jaw, a right to his head. Max shoots a hard right to Lewis. Lewis with the old one-two. First to left and then the right. And Schmeling is down. The count is seven, eight. Well, let's look at the glamorous crowd at ringside. There's the entire cast of Clifford Odette's Golden Boy. Siggy, Roxy, and Pepper with Tony Shalhoub from TV's Monk. Tom Moody, played by Danny Mastro Giorgio. And next to them, Danny Burstein, who plays Tokyo. And Golden Boy himself, Seth Newbrick as Joe Bonaparte, the talented violinist who gives everything up for fame and fortune in the ring. And for gorgeous Lorna Moon, the dame from Newark, played by Yvonne Strahovski from TV's Dexter. Just some of the colorful characters she Sharing the excitement. Take it from me, there are a lot of hits on Broadway, but only one knockout. Lincoln Center Theater presents Golden Boy, directed by Bartlett Shear at the Belasco Theater. Don't get counted out. Visit telecharge.com. WCBS News Time 1011. Federal prosecutor says the insider trading charges against former hedge fund portfolio manager Matthew Martoma point to a cheating scheme of historic scale using what might be the most lucrative inside tip of all time. U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara says Martoma is accused of using confidential information about an Alzheimer's disease drug trial to rake in millions of dollars. As a result of the blatant corruption of both the drug research and securities markets alleged. The hedge fund made profits and avoided losses 
of a staggering $276 million. Barrara says the scheme made money both before and after a negative public announcement on the drug trial. An advertising agency and 19 people have been charged in what New York officials are calling a prostitution-based money laundering bust. Among the 19 arrested is David Mendelowitz, a former guidance counselor and dean of students at Scarsdale High School who retired in June. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman says the escort services were promoted by Nomad Enterprises of Chelsea. And it essentially shows what you can do if you have a high level of creativity and a very low level of morality. They set up a one-stop shopping vehicle for prostitution rings. Authorities say the advertiser and five escort services made $7 million, often using Asian immigrants as sex slaves. At police headquarters, Marla Diamond, WCBS 880 News. We'll check sports next, WCBS News Time, 1013. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure, can't hurt, right? Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50. And the multivitamin they used for the study? Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor, he really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time 1014. WCBS Weather Clouds will give way to a mostly sunny day tomorrow. The high 52 degrees. Right now it's cloudy and 44 in Midtown Manhattan. The five day forecast after sports. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at CBSNewYork.com. Wherever you are, we are. New York's News Radio, WCBS 880. Thanks for listening. I'm Chad Lesher. And coming up on WCBS News Radio, unemployment claims spiked in New York after. Hurricane Sandy. On Wall Street, stocks finish about where they started after a warning from Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke, the Dow, down seven points. Business news in 10 minutes. WCBS News Time 1015. Now, an update on sports, and here is Al Gattulo. Well, good evening, John Nixon, Hornets, and really, it's all Knicks right now in the Big Easy. Pouring it on, about three and a half to go in the game. Knickerbocker's up 97 to 76. Carmelo Anthony on the bench long ago, finishing with 29 points, six boards, and four assists. Nets out on the left coast to face the new look Lakers with Mike D'Antoni behind the bench and Dwight Howard on the floor. Brooklyn riding a five game winning streak off to their best start since 2002 2003. That season, ended with the second of back-to-back -back NBA Finals appearances, tip-off set for the bottom of the hour in the City of Angels. Yankees making moves, trying to get that payroll down in 2014 to $189 million. They do that by re-signing pitcher Hiroki Kuroda, a one-year deal worth $15 million. Yankees GM Brian Cashman on Kuroda. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought you know, Hiroki uh, you know, did a phenomenal job for us last year, and uh, we had a strong preference of retaining him. And I think uh, I suspect it was a very aggressive market form. It should have been, um, and uh, you know, we feel you know fortunate that we were able to you know acquire him last year. And I feel the same way this year. And Cashman said it was important that Kuroda take a one-year deal. He said Kuroda probably left some money on the table. He was also asked on Andy Pettit's status right now. He says, Cashman, he has not put himself in play. John Gibbons will be at the helm for a second go-around with the Blue Jays. He's the franchise's third winningest manager. Both sides in the ongoing NHL labor fight say negotiations expected to resume Wednesday following a one-day break in talks after owners and players had met for about 90 minutes on Monday night at the NHL offices in Manhattan. Players Association huddled to go over the league's request quest for a full proposal. Those internal conversations continue today. The side's focused on a return to the bargain tab bargaining table tomorrow. Sports at 15 and 45 past every hour. Al Gattulo, WCBS, 880 Sports. We have traffic and weather coming up. WCBS News Time, 1017. Hey guys, remember when you were 18 with unlimited energy and
anytime? Wish you could relive your glory days and have the testosterone drive of your teenage years with the experience and skill you have today? Now you can with ProGene Daily Complex. This is Dr. Todd Karen from the American Academy of Anti-Aging and Regenerative Medicine. Testosterone levels decrease in men after the age of 20. It's a major cause of the aging process. The effects include lack of energy, decrease in muscle mass, increasing belly fat, and decreased sexual performance, all of which impact self-esteem, confidence, and most importantly, overall quality of life. Kick your drive back into high gear with ProGene. Call 800-943-2706 today to get a full month absolutely free. No injections, no prescription needed. ProGene is an all-natural herbal supplement that helps men boost testosterone production. Claim your free month supply now by calling 800-943-2706. That's 800-943-2706. Again, 800-943-2706. Shipping and processing charges apply. City News Time 1018, traffic and weather together on the 8th. Steve Reggie, how's it going on the roads tonight? We still see plenty of delays on the eastbound Long Island Expressway as you try to make your way from the BQE out toward Nassau County. Just a lot of stop and go volume. Finally breaks up just after the Cross Island Parkway. And northbound Hutch, that's a big problem. A tractor trailer got onto the parkway and hit an overpass at Westchester Avenue in the Bronx. So northbound shut down, southbound left lane closed. Hudson River crossings are okay. No problems West Side Highway or Harlem River Drive going from Midtown up to the George Washington Bridge. In New Jersey, they cleared the accident northbound Garden State Parkway in South Orange by exit 144. Northern suburbs still a problem on the southbound New York State Thruway. Stop and go from the Woodbury Tolls right down to Suffern where they're doing some emergency repairs at 15A. And we also have both directions of the Tappan Zee Bridge going toward Westchester and toward Rockland with nighttime repairs. Southbound Connecticut Turnpike also slow from Stamford to the New York State Line. And again, that's some repair work going on on 95. On Long Island, LIE, Northern State and Southern state all moving along without any serious delays our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on wcbs now let's track the five-day forecast with meteorologist john dugowinski it'll be partly to mostly cloudy out there again tonight we'll see a low of 42 in midtown but 30 to 35 across the hudson valley and some outlying areas during the day tomorrow we'll see times of clouds and sunshine and high up to 52 clear to partly cloudy tomorrow night low again 42 and then for thanksgiving day We'll see a pretty nice day out there. It'll be sunny to partly cloudy, highs around 55 degrees. Another mild day on Friday with a mix of sun and clouds, high 58. For Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. It'll be a chillier day, though. A shower possible, high only 48, and then blustery and chilly for Sunday. Despite partly sunny skies, we'll see a high around 43. I'm meteorologist John Dukowenski in the WCBS Weather Center. It's cloudy tonight, 31 degrees in Sussex, 41 in Darien, and 44 in New York City. Coming up in Health Watch, why you may want to work out before you go to sleep. But first this, since Labor Day, WCBS 880 has given away dozens of iPads to lucky listeners. But after the damage from Sandy, we've shifted our focus to something that will help you recover. Now through December 7th, WCBS will give away $1,000 every weekday. After the storm and with the holidays upon us, we know the money will help. So listen weekday mornings at 820 to hear how you could win $1,000 from WCBS 880. WCBS. The news is always fast, it's accurate, and I can depend on it. It matters where you get your news. WCBS 880. <laughs> WCBS News Time 1021. The number of New Yorkers seeking unemployment benefits jumped by 46,000 or approximately 33 percent in the week following Hurricane Sandy when many workers were stranded at home and businesses closed. Governor Cuomo says that's a significant increase. He spoke at a news conference today at the Javits Center where he praised Sears' pledge to donate millions of dollars to storm relief efforts. Meantime, two truckloads of supplies have made it to Long Island from New Orleans. It was sent with love from New Orleans. Two semi-trucks filled with everything possible, including Kool-Aid and diapers, arrived here to Amityville High School on Long Island. Trey Ledbetter lives outside of New Orleans. He told me he can relate after Hurricane Katrina. It was amazing to see how many people responded to our cry for help down there to send up here. And Joseph Araby said it went from a little idea to a big idea, and it seemed like everyone wanted to help. Two trucks, two 53-foot van trailers, and it's a lot of I don't know if you walked inside, but I mean, it's a lot of goods. Uh, kids' toys, water, blankets, anything people in the South wanted to donate that we, that we thought y'all could use. Jackets, you know, stuff like that. We brought it up here. Those in need could come here to the high school for the supplies. Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. 
WCBS News Time 1022. The family of a New Jersey teenager who tweeted about her fake abduction won't be billed for the cost of the police search. Kara Alonji gained hundreds of followers after asking people on Twitter to call 911 last September. However, the evidence pointed toward the 16-year-old being a runaway. Clark Mayer, Sal Bonacurso, tells the Star-Ledger the cost of the search wasn't exorbitant, and he hopes the girl makes some better choices in the future. The latest Trouble in Toyland report from the U.S. Public Interest Research Group finds less lead but still other concerns with a chemical group known to cause reproductive and development issues. The Toy Industries Association's Joan Lawrence says the report goes beyond U.S. safety standards, which are already strict. For any toy sold here in the U.S., we have strict safety standards. And no matter where it's sold or where it's made, it has to comply, and it must be tested to those standards. Adora the Explorer guitar, dragster cars small wheels and finger fidget desktop magnets are among the toys that consumer advocates are warning about as the holiday buying season begins. WCBS News Time, 1023. Conventional wisdom says you shouldn't exercise before bed because it'll keep you up. As it turns out, working out before you hit the hay can actually help you sleep better. For Fitness Magazine, I'm Dr. Holly Phillips with Health Watch. Go ahead and sweat before bed. It's true that if your body's hyped up as it is after exercise, you won't sleep as well. But that effect goes away within 10 or 20 minutes after a workout. Exercise reduces blood pressure and lessens anxiety, so you'll get a good night's rest. One study showed that when people slept about seven and a half hours a night, more than half the weight they lost over a period of two weeks was fat. But when the study participants got just five and a half hours a night, they lost significantly less fat. With Health Watch, I'm Dr. Holly Phillips, WCBS 880 News. An update on businesses next. WCBS News Time, 1024. If you have bad credit, you're not alone. Did you know that as much as 79% of all credit reports contain errors and incorrect information? Having great credit is more important than ever. Let nationally recognized credit expert Jason M. Kaplan help. Jason and his team of FICO experts will give you a free consultation and discuss how they can get your credit life back on track. Call 877-731-0082 for your free credit consultation and analysis. There's no upfront fees and you only pay for results. Call the credit pros now at 877-731-0082. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time 1025. We're live at the Wall Street Journal with Bruce Vale. And Bruce, what's happening tonight in business news? Hi, John. The Twinkie, the Ho Ho, and the Devil Dog will probably live on, but they won't belong to Hostess much longer. Hostess Brands and its Bakers Union held a mediation hearing today in a last ditch effort to reach an agreement that will keep the company from going out of business. But tonight, both sides said the mediation failed. Hostess says it will now move forward with plans to liquidate, and that will put more than 18,000 hostess workers out of work for good, including those who work at the company's bakery in Wayne, New Jersey. The Food and Drug Administration has approved the first seasonal flu vaccine produced without the use of fertilized chicken eggs. The vaccine, made by Novartis, was made using cultured animal cells, which is a technology that has been used for other types of vaccines for several decades. The FDA said an advantage of this technology is the potential for the vaccine manufacturing process to begin faster in the event of a flu pandemic. Flight attendants and U.S. Airways have authorized a strike if their union can't reach an agreement with management on a new new labor contract. Flight attendants are still working under contracts that were put in place before U.S. Airways merged with America West. We had mixed results during a light trading session on Wall Street today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell seven points, closing at 12,788. The Nasdaq Composite and the S&P 500 each gained just a fraction. I'm Bruce Vale at the Wall Street Journal for WCBS News Radio 880. And coming up, Sandy leads to a Thanksgiving rental car shortage in the Northeast. WCBS News Time, 1026. Have you heard? Proactive is better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. 
Do you have troubled skin, acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive, your acne can heal and you can prevent new breakouts from happening. Don't miss this limited time offer. Give us a call at 1-800-533-3091 because we're going to let a million people try Proactive risk-free, get two free gifts, and also receive free shipping when you call right now. You heard it. This offer won't last long. So call Proactive now and you'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial of Proactive, two free extras, and free shipping. Call 1-800-533-3091. This is our best radio offer ever. Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive plus free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Don't wait. Visit GetProactive.com or call 1-800-533-3091. That's 1-800-533-3091. WCBS News Time 1027. Holiday travel will be tougher for some Northeast residents. Rental car companies say there's a shortage of cars because of vehicle damage from Superstorm Sandy. Existing reservations are mostly being honored. The few cars available carry a hefty premium, prompting one man to say he would consider renting a moving truck. Springsteen and John Bon Jovi are among the New Jersey natives joining a special fund created in the wake of Sandy. The nonprofit was created by State First Lady Mary Pat Christie to aid in a long term recovery effort following the storm. The board has raised more than $16 million. And Democrats who lead the New Jersey Assembly have introduced legislation that would provide sales tax rebates to property owners and small businesses rebuilding after the hurricane. WCBS News Time 1028. Traffic and weather together on the 8s. And here's Steve Reggie. And problems in New Jersey on the Garden State Parkway, John. Northbound, right by exit 141 in Union. You have two lanes out of service with an accident there. And both directions of 80, they're doing some repair work between Parsippany and Denville. Exits 42 to 47. Northern suburbs, lots of slow traffic southbound on the New York State Thruway from the Woodbury Tolls right down to Suffern because of emergency repairs at 15A. Both directions of the Tappan Zee Bridge also have construction between Westchester and Rockland Counties. On Long Island, everything's moving along pretty smoothly and at our Hudson River crossings were good but watch for slow traffic on the northbound Hutch an accident at Westchester Avenue blocks all lanes northbound and the left lane going southbound and some slow traffic eastbound LIE from the BQE to the Cross Island Parkway. Here's meteorologist John Dugowinski with WCBS Pinpoint Weather. Mostly cloudy tonight low 42 midtown 30 to 35 in the Hudson Valley and some outlying areas Mix of sun and clouds for tomorrow, high 52. Patchy clouds tomorrow night, low 42. And then a nice day on Thanksgiving Day with lots of sunshine, high 55. I'm meteorologist John Dugowinski in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now, New York City, the sky is cloudy, the wind is calm, the temperature 44 degrees, the humidity 62%, and the barometer is rising from 30.17. WCBS News Time, 10.30. News, traffic, and weather. On air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS 880. Good evening, I'm John Lesher. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom on this Tuesday, November 20th. A person of interest is being questioned in the shooting deaths of three shopkeepers in Brooklyn. The NYPD says flooding from Hurricane Sandy may have damaged some stored evidence. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is trying to stop a ground assault on Gaza. And a warning from Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke about the fiscal cliff keeps stocks in check. In sports, the Knicks beat the Hornets 102-280. The Nets in Los Angeles, they face the Lakers at 10-30. And Taroki Kuroda resigns with the Yankees. WCBS News Time, 10:31. The NYPD says it's talking to a person of interest in connection with three deadly shootings of Brooklyn business owners of Middle Eastern descent. All three murders were committed with a 22 caliber handgun. It may be significant, it may not. Uh, in all three cases, the the victim's uh, head was covered either by cardboard or by uh, clothing of some sort. All three victims were of Middle Eastern descent. But Commissioner Kelly would not say if bias was a motive. At police headquarters, Marla Diamond, WCBS 880 News. Hurricane Sandy may have damaged or destroyed some criminal evidence. Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly says the storm flooded a large police storage facility in Brooklyn. This is an issue that's going to have to be addressed. You're going to have to look at it uh, sort of on a case-by-case basis. What's available? Is it partially available? Uh, Is it totally destroyed? Depends on on the case. 
NYPD facility is in the Greenpoint section of Brooklyn. WCBS News Time 1032, turning now to the crisis in the Middle East. I'm Robert Berger in Jerusalem. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton called for a ceasefire, but she put the blame for the conflict squarely on Hamas. The rocket attacks from terrorist organizations inside Gaza on Israelis, cities and towns must end. Israel says it prefers a diplomatic solution, but with tanks and troops massed on the Gaza border, Israeli officials say they're prepared for a ground assault if necessary. Robert Berger, CBS News, Jerusalem. Stocks failed to add to Monday's gains after a warning from Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke about the dangers of the fiscal cliff. Uncertainty about how the fiscal cliff, the raising of the debt limit, and the longer-term budget situation will be addressed appears already to be affecting private spending and investment decisions and may be contributing to an increased sense of caution in financial markets with adverse effects on the economy. Bernanke spoke to the Economic Club of New York today. Stocks finished the day about where they started. Coming up, a Kennedy is acquitted in a New York hospital case. WCBS News Time, 1033. How far would you go to help save someone's life? How about to your garage? If you have an unneeded vehicle, donate it to the Salvation Army. They'll pick it up for free. And the proceeds from its sale will help someone in the grip of addiction reclaim his life. To donate your vehicle, call 1-800-SA-TRUCK or visit satruck.org. You will be doing the most good. Nana and Papa with rich jello pudding from Walmart. Which is impressive considering their age. Eat moist Betty Crocker cookies. Come your cousins now with Nestle Toll House morsels. Walmart has everything you need for a great Thanksgiving meal. Backed by our ad match guarantee. Our stores will match the price of any local competitor's printed ad for an identical product. Not applicable to Walmart.com. Restrictions apply. See store for details. WCBS News Time 1034. Douglas Kennedy, a son of the late Senator Robert F. Kennedy, has been acquitted of child endangerment and harassment charges stemming from a scuffle in a hospital maternity ward. Kennedy had tried in January to take his newborn son from Northern Westchester Hospital in Mount Kisco. It's okay for a father to want to be with his son. And nobody should ever try to grab a baby from any parent's arms. Two nurses say they were hurt when they tried to stop Kennedy in accordance with hospital policy. Now an update on the suburban New York mother of four who pleaded guilty to promoting prostitution. After creating some last minute drama over whether she would take the promised sentence of six months in jail, which amounts to time served, or take back her plea and go to trial, Anna Christina decided to go ahead and take the sentence. She left the courthouse saying she plans to devote her time to animal rescue and to write a tell-all book what she learned through her experience with the criminal justice system. She said the system is more corrupt than the mafia. The Manhattan DA's office then put out an equally blunt statement saying there is nothing glamorous about prostitution. Anna Christina is guilty of renting out women's bodies for profit, which makes her nothing but a pimp. From Manhattan Supreme Court, Irene Cornell, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 1035. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta says the U.S. war in al-Qaeda is taking a new direction, moving beyond declared combat zones like Afghanistan. Panetta says the evolving campaign will feature the use of small U.S. strike forces and more partnering with foreign commandos. Former New Hampshire Senator Warren Rudman has died. Rudman led a commission that predicted the danger of terrorism on American soil just months before the attacks of September 11th. Rudman died of complications of lymphoma. He was 81 years old. WCBS News Time, 1036. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. 
Do you suffer from pain like joint pain, muscle pain, back pain, or painful arthritis? Then you must listen to this important message. Anatoblock is a breakthrough supplement scientifically proven to quickly and effectively reduce inflammation and get rid of pain. Anatoblock is so effective, we guarantee you'll feel a significant difference in just a few days. Best of all, Anatoblock is now available to try for free. That's right. Call 800-651-6059 now and get out of pain absolutely free. Call today, 800-651-6059. Health insurance is on everybody's mind right now. You either don't have it or you have it and you think it's too expensive. And you probably feel like you don't have any options. We can help. We are InSphere Insurance Solutions. We offer health insurance plans from major carriers nationwide and likely have a plan that can save you money. Whether you're self-employed, on a COBRA plan that's about to expire, or you simply don't have health insurance where you work and you need it, InSphere Insurance Solutions can help you. Our agents will help you find coverage you can afford. InSphere Insurance Solutions is an authorized agency in all 50 states, including the District of Columbia. Plans may not be available in all states. 800-713-0182. 800-713-0182. 800-713-0182. That's 800-713-0182. WCBS News Time 1037. Traffic and weather on the 8th. Next. 